like to welcome everyone to the Moorhead Eagle season opener. Moorhead State University, this is on the old golf course property. First time that Moorhead has hosted a uh, home meet in probably two decades. You can see the hills in the background, it's kind of in a little valley. Beautiful setting and a wonderful day for cross country. Earlier this week it was just really hot. Tuesday, just the heat index was through the roof, but right now, Friday, Labor Day weekend, a little bit of a nip in the air, perfect, perfect cross-country weather. You can see all the different teams lined up. Competing today in the men's 5K will be Moorhead, the host team, along with several others. Looks like Tim Henderlight, our official. Has everybody lined up. Hinderlight ran for University of the Cumberlands and then was a coach at Union. And they're off. Moorhead Eagle cross country season opener. But anyway, the weather is just wonderful today. We're really expecting some good times today course is well marked, well manicured, kind of a two lap course. They'll start and finish in the same spot. Coming back from the first loop. Looks like we have a whole bunch of Moorhead runners in the lead. The new runner there for Moorhead in the lead right there out of Canada. Get you some information about all the different runners today. It's Grayson Brookshire. Part of the GRC class of 2014. And his cousin and teammate, Clay Dixon. Part of the GRC class of 2012. But that leader for Moorhead was Farah Abdul Karim out of Canada. 2015, Farah competed in the uh, pin relays, 3K. Now they do sports a little differently there. Ottawa Lions Track Club is what he's out of, Ottawa, Ontario. Looks like Farah's dropped to second place now. Looks like the Moorhead, or the uh, EKU pack has also moved up. A little bit about the uh, teams competing. Campbellsville University is one of the teams competing. They're opening their season here. And then they're going to the Mid-South Conference Preview in Bowling Green on September 16th. Mason Blevins, part of the Pulaski County program when he was in uh, high school, just run by. But Campbellsville will then be in the Mid-South Preview in Bowling Green on the 16th. Berea College meet. In September, Greater Louisville Classic, Fast Cats, St. Louis Fall Classic, October, and then the Mid-South Conference on November 5th. Marshall's competing here. It's kind of uh, interesting. If you look at the history of cross-country in this area, you'll see uh, a lot of historic competitions between EKU, Moorhead, and uh, Marshall. But Marshall's opening their season here today, and then in two weeks they'll be at the Commodore Classic. That's Yusef Al Husani from Kuwait City, Kuwait, on the Moorhead team. Then after the Commodore Classic, Marshall will go to the Notre Dame Invitational on September 30th, then High Point University Vert in Invite on the 14th of October, and they're part of Conference USA. Moorhead, there's Alan Barnett, 
first uh, college meet. He redshirted last year, part of the GRC class of 2015. But Moorhead will compete here. Then they'll go down to Tennessee for the Commodore Classic. And then October 1st, they'll be at Greater Louisville. This is part of the backfield right there. They're completing their second loop, loop in the backfield, and then they'll loop around here in just a little bit. Then on October 15th, they'll go to Moorhead, will go to Pre Nats in Terre Haute, and then the OVC Championship on October 22nd. We'll be taking you to the uh, women's competition held earlier today. We have some excerpts from that. While the men are in the back section, when they return, we'll get their race. But while they're running in the back section, we'll have uh, some action from the women's 5K that was held just earlier today. They're starting the second loop. Their back is to the uh, starting <coughs> starting line and finish line and they're heading out on that second loop. You can see a ton of EKU runners. And one of our top our first more head runners. We have a ton of high school coaches in attendance today at this meet watching some of their former athletes. We got the High school coach from Bourbon County, Nicholas County, GRC, Southwestern, Rowan County, and Augusta, amongst others that are in attendance today. Here comes Lauren Best out of Milford, Ohio. It's close to the Kings Island area. Shelby Watkins, this is her first college meet. Shelby is part of the uh, Nicholas County program, graduated from Nicholas County, class of 2016. She was the class A runner-up at the state meet in 2015. She was Region 5A champion and the KTCCCA meet of champions in 2015. Bluegrass conference champion and Roy Wright individual uh, invitational champion. That was a meet held up here in Rowan County her senior year. So it'll be interesting to watch uh, Shelby develop over the next four or five years. She might red shirt a lot of the kids decide that's a wise thing to do. That was Shelby Watkins that went by. We'll be returning to the uh, men's race in just a moment. Marshall runner there in the lead. Got a substantial lead on a couple of the EKU runners. But the women's race, 5K race, it was held just before the men's race. We have some uh, final results from that race. Top runner, EKU, Charlotte Emir, was the winner of the women's 5K. Adrian Cook out of Marshall was second place. Lillian Kilbris, EKU, was third. Haley Yost, EKU, fourth. And Megan Graham, EKU, fifth. The final team standings of the uh, women's competition. EKU first with 19. Marshall was second with 58. Moorhead third, and close third at 62. Campbellsville. 130 points was fourth, and University of Charleston fifth with 136. It's the women's competition. As I said, we'll be returning to the men's race in just a moment. Got some new faces in the men's competition. One of the new faces for Moorhead is Aaron Weir out of Lexington Christian. 
Class A state champion in Kentucky. Region 5A champion, Harrison County Invitational champion, and Bluegrass Cross Country individual champion. That's Aaron Weir. Watch for him throughout this season. Now we're returning to the uh, men's race. Men's 5K will be at the end of the race. They should be coming out of the last loop. See who the leaders were. EKU kind of made a move at the beginning of the uh, second loop in the race. Moorhead dominated the first loop. Okay, we've got a lone EKU runner coming in. And a pack of, uh, oh, it's all EKU right now. Farah is, looks like maybe in seventh or eighth place. See if he can make a move or whether. EKU's going to have a perfect score here today. Got Marshall in the background, runner. You're watching Moorhead Eagles season opener held on the old golf course property in Moorhead, Kentucky. Another runner from... Uh, Moorhead, like the spotlight today, Hunter Trenieri out of Owen County, class of 2013. His senior year, he won the Trimble County Invitational, Grant County Invitational, which uh, we've provided coverage over the last several years. He was third. He's Region 5A champion. We have a ton of Region 5A champions, both men and women, on the Moorhead team. And at the Kentucky State Cross Country meet, he placed third overall. There's Mason Blevins again, see, coming across in the red jersey. Also running for Moorhead is Jordan Carrington, sophomore, part of the Southwestern class of 2015. His senior year in high school, he won the Berea Invitational and also won uh, Southwestern's home meet, the uh, prestigious Southern Harrier, Harrier Classic. That's a tough meet held on GE Park course. That'll uh, wear you out and beat you up. Now Cameron Snap's coming by here. He's right behind Grayson Brookshire. It's Cameron's first meet out of he's uh, out of Augusta. One time won the water barrel. We'll get you some more stats on him. But back on Jordan, he uh, placed third at Purple Striders his senior year and third at the Henry Clay Tanner Duke. Now we're going to look back a little bit at Moorhead State cross country history. Here's a photograph from 50 years ago this year when Moorhead hosted the 1966 OVC Championships. You can see the same mountains in the background. Not exactly sure where the course is, but you can see all those men from Moorhead 50 years ago running in the cross country championship. And here's a shot from 1974. It's a try meet between EKU, Moorhead, and Marshall. And that's how they finished it back in 74. EKU won, Moorhead was second, and Marshall was third. And they're back competing again. Traditional rivals on this course. And we'll see how it all turns out here in just a moment. This look back was brought to you by the Kentucky Running Museum and the KTCCCA. Hall of Fame. Here we're at the finish, and we got the top finisher for the men's team, the EKU runner, Frederick Conda from EKU. And second, oh, Farah Abdul Karim from Moorhead has moved up from that pack, second place. Way to go, Farah. And they're coming in. It looks like uh, there's a lot of EKU jerseys there. Looks like they might be uh, today's champ. And a lot of Moorhead. And here comes three Marshall. It'll be interesting to see what the team score is. Back to some of our athletes competing. As I was mentioning, uh, Cameron Snap out of Augusta last year. Uh, at the 12th annual run for the water barrel. He was runner-up. And uh, at the, uh, he was first at the opening day invitational. 
two years ago at the 11th annual run for the water barrel. He was champion and Buffalo Trace Conference champion. 2014 Class A, placed 13th place at state. And then 2013, as a sophomore at the run for the water barrel, he was third. A couple other runners from Moorhead running today. Justin Mockler, if I'm saying that correctly, another Canadian. Got two Canadians on the team. Brampton Centennial, where he is out of, class of 2014. Brampton, Ontario, Canada. And then, of course, there's Shane Rigsby. Got to love his nickname. Sugar Shane is what they call him on the team. At a Muslim High School, class of 2014, Inwood, West Virginia. West Virginia State champion runner-up in 2014 out of Region 2A, 2 Class 3A in West Virginia. He was a champion. Eastern Panhandle Conference champion. Only beat by two people his senior year. Okay, we'll be taking you to the final results here in just a moment. You're watching the Moorhead University Eagle season opener in Rowan County, Moorhead, Kentucky. And now for the women's team scores, EKU first, Marshall second, Moorhead third, Campbellsville fourth, and University of Charleston fifth. Top women, Charlotte Emir and Adriana Cook. Congratulations to those teams and ladies. The men's, EKU first, Moorhead second, Marshall third. Kind of like it was back in 1974. This has been a Striders U production, part of the Striders High Network. This has been Dodd Dixon. Thank you for joining us. I hope everybody has a wonderful Labor Day weekend. Special thanks to all of our sponsors.